Welcome to Professionalism and Customer Service in the Healthcare Environment, Customer Service in Health IT. This is Lecture A. In this lecture, we'll be providing an introduction to Health IT Customer Service. The objectives for this lecture are to describe the different facets of customer service, identify Health IT customers and stakeholders, and identify Health IT customer and stakeholder needs based on role and context. A service culture exists when an organization employs a customer-centered approach to its business, services, and products at all levels within the organization. Developing a service culture takes time and commitment from the organization's leadership, management, and employees. When an organization puts customer needs first, this priority is reflected in the organization's mission, vision, goals, and service standards. These statements set the tone for employees to adopt a customer-centered approach to their regular duties and activities, as they understand their part in meeting the needs of their customers. Health IT typically has a highly service-oriented culture. The repercussions of poor customer service may mean loss of profit or market share. In addition, internal customers may adopt a negative attitude toward a health IT system. If you satisfy a customer from the beginning, you save time and money because you won't be faced with trying to alter the discontented customer's attitude after a bad experience. This presentation focuses on the wants and needs of different health IT customer constituencies. Let's look at the different settings where we find health IT customers. Larger healthcare organizations and hospitals typically employ IT staff members. Smaller physician practices may rely on support from a vendor or contractor and or have someone in another role in their organization, such as an office manager, who also troubleshoots basic health IT issues. Hospitals typically rely on enterprise-wide information systems for electronic health records, or EHRs, as well as on specialized systems for specific departments. Examples include customized billing, scheduling, laboratory, radiology, and pharmacy systems. Likewise, hospitals and larger healthcare organizations are dependent on network and communication technology, such as email and wireless technology, to help them run. Another common setting is outpatient or ambulatory clinics. These are locations such as urgent care centers, surgery centers, complexes for laboratory, radiology, physical therapy, sleep studies and pain management, and physician family practice offices. Employees in outpatient clinics and offices depend on IT to facilitate day-to-day -day processes. Examples include generating bills, automatic and electronic querying of insurance eligibility, and scheduling patients. IT is also entrusted to provide capabilities to securely share patient data across providers. For example, a physician at an urgent care center may want to share information about a patient's medication with the patient's primary care provider, or PCP. Some clinics have their own website or portal where patients can access their health record or even enter information such as allergies and health history prior to their clinic visit. Long-term care facilities, such as nursing homes, skilled nursing facilities, and rehabilitation centers are also health IT customers. For example, medical history, medication, and allergy information are needed by an emergency department physician when a patient is sent from a nursing home because of an unexpected illness. Likewise, when the patient is discharged from the hospital back to the nursing home, complete discharge instructions and a reconciled medication list is needed. The exchange of patient data is needed to provide for the safe transition of care between facilities. Public health and other government agencies rely on data supplied by healthcare organizations related to public health issues, such as vaccinations and the incidence of influenza or flu. In addition, regulatory organizations depend on clinicians, quality analysts, and health IT systems to gather information about infection rates, patient satisfaction levels, and numerous other patient safety measures that are reportable to the public. With the growth of telehealth, IT staff may provide support services to patients and caregivers in their homes. Nurses, physical therapists, aides, hospice staff, and pre-hospital or EMS personnel are examples of clinicians who provide care in patient homes using various systems and devices. The first step in developing a service culture is to identify stakeholders and customers and determine what they need and or want. Let's consider 
who in a healthcare organization is affected by or perceives themselves to be affected by a service, decision, system, application, or project within the health IT domain. Sponsors typically include those in a leadership role related to a service or initiative. Common roles are hospital administrators, service line managers, and IT managers. Administrators and managers need data and reports from IT systems in order to monitor quality and make informed decisions within the organization. Management includes IT management, PMO, Project Management Office, clinical management, service line administrators, executives and members of the C-suite, such as the CEO, Chief Executive Officer, CFO, Chief Financial Officer, CMO, Chief Medical Officer, and CIO. Chief Information Officer. The patient care team members are key health IT customers. Some of the primary consumers of health IT are physicians and nurses. Other care team members include patient care assistants, formerly called nurses' aides, respiratory therapists, pharmacists, case managers, and ancillary service providers such as laboratory and radiology professionals. As part of the patient care team, all of these individuals generate information that's an integral part of patient care. They are considered health IT customers because their work may be directly affected by changes in EHR and other health IT systems. Employees in other roles across the organization also rely on IT systems to perform their work. Examples are quality analysts, billers, coders, schedulers, and registration staff. Patients are also health IT customers. However, it's worth noting that many clinicians strenuously object to referring to patients as customers, as they feel it implies that the relationship is only financial in nature. Patients are direct consumers of health IT when they access a healthcare organization's patient portal. Through a portal, patients or their caregivers can view relevant sections of their health records, such as immunization and medication schedules laboratory results, and future or past appointments. EHR systems facilitate the collection and sharing of health data, which enable patient portals to exist. Finally, IT staff are in a customer role when they are working with vendors who provide a specialized product or service, such as on-call support for a robotic surgical system used during critical cardiac procedures or a fetal monitoring system in the labor and delivery department. The type of services you provide will vary depending on your specific role. Examples of health IT services include troubleshooting technical issues with information systems or medical devices and providing support for end users of a system who may lack expertise in how to use it. You may also be involved in modifying systems or user interfaces to address bugs, usability issues, new data requirements, or lack of alignment with clinician workflows. Enforcing and implementing measures to safeguard patient information is also in the health IT domain. For example, implementing and maintaining firewall and virus protection software. Or you may be involved in the setup and deployment of mobile devices that enable clinicians to securely access data in the patient record outside the hospital setting. Within a service culture, once the customers are identified, it's important to understand what they want and need. Specific wants and needs will differ by professional role, but there are some elements that are typically desired by all health IT customers. Whatever their role, health IT customers want their problems to be addressed quickly, in a respectful manner, and with the least interruption to their work. End users of an IT system want their needs to be considered when IT decisions are made that will ultimately impact them. Customers also want systems that are intuitive and easy to use while also providing secure ways to store and share health information. Healthcare organizations commonly face challenges related to communication between clinicians and those in IT roles. Providers may each have a slightly different focus, but all have a stake in ensuring that appropriate health IT decisions are made and successfully implemented. The growth of the field of informatics is due in part to the necessity of bridging the communication gap between IT and clinical staff. In terms of communication, clinicians sometimes lack the IT experience to accurately articulate a technical issue, or they may not understand why a desired feature or function isn't possible. Conversely, IT staff who use technical jargon that's unfamiliar to non-IT staff or email messages from an automated help desk system that are not informative, such as, ticket has been closed, 
will cause customer frustration. Because of the 24-7 nature of healthcare and busy clinician schedules, simply finding a time to meet or discuss an issue can also be challenging. Clinicians have different methods of communication. Pagers may work for some, whereas others could respond to an email or phone message. Communicating with staff who work off hours, that is, evenings, nights, or weekends, is an ongoing challenge that requires professionalism and persistence on the part of the IT staff to meet the needs of the customer. Priorities can also differ. Clinicians want IT systems that work well, allow them to provide care efficiently, and don't impact patients negatively. IT staff are tasked with ensuring systems are secure. A study published in the International Journal of Informatics noted that security measures implemented by IT staff can cause frustration on the part of clinical providers. For example, having to use different passwords for different systems can lead to provider workarounds, such as sharing accounts or not logging off of systems. The study concluded that IT staff need to develop a better understanding of clinical needs and clinicians need to understand the rationale for the protocols IT staff have established. Another source of frustration for clinicians relates to access to the Internet. Valid clinical requests, for example, the need for a primary care provider to access his or her EHR system from within the hospital to provide safe patient care, must be understood and accommodated. Finally, problems emerge when systems are designed or modified without input from the end users. As an example, the design process for a new electronic progress note in the EHR should include direct input from the clinicians who will be using the note in order to ensure clear understanding of the clinician workflow, data requirements, and any usability issues. Understanding the perspectives of your clinical customers on health IT systems can help you better understand their needs and foster more productive collaboration. Based on a RAND study, comments in an American Medical Association town hall, and other sources, physicians typically appreciate certain benefits of EHR systems but also express frustration with other aspects of EHRs. They recognize their potential to improve care quality and appreciate the ability to share health information across providers, thus improving care coordination. They also tend to like electronic prescribing and clinical decision support such as drug and allergy alerts and automated prompts for preventive screenings, for example, PSA tests for prostate cancer. Among the chief complaints that physicians have is lost productivity because of the increased time required to enter patient information electronically. For many physicians, this translates into reduction in their income. The increased time required for electronic documentation can result from multiple factors. Examples include interfaces that are not intuitive or easy to use, and systems or interfaces that are out of sync with the way clinicians actually work. One strategy proposed in a HIMSS article is the creation of a clinical help desk to better support providers and resolve their issues quickly. Another common complaint voiced by some physicians is that they feel entering data into a system during patient interactions interferes with the doctor-patient relationship. One strategy to address this is moving computer stations so that physicians can look at their patients as they ask the questions, listen to responses, and enter information. Using tablets instead of computer stations is another solution that enables physicians to face their patients. Physicians highly value clinical autonomy. Clinical autonomy refers to individual physician control of the entire patient treatment process. Physicians can perceive an erosion of their clinical autonomy when health IT systems require new ways of operating or when the systems are out of sync with workflows. IT professionals should be sensitive to this concern as they implement changes that can impact clinicians. An example of an enhancement that fits into the clinician workflow occurred with the implementation of real-time transcription software. The software enabled the physicians to dictate directly into the EHR using a microphone and specialized voice recognition software. This enhancement was a huge satisfier for the physicians. One strategy to ensure physician perspectives are factored into IT decisions has been to have physician representation in a leadership position in the health IT department. This position is referred to as a Chief Medical Information Officer, or CMIO. 
The engagement of the CMIO and clinical informatics staff typically has a significant influence on the implementation and adoption of EHR systems. Similar to physicians, nurses are very focused on the clinical needs of their patients. Nurses are also often required to generate a great deal of patient care documentation. Nurses, therefore, are generally more supportive of technology that increases documentation efficiency, but become very frustrated by systems that are inefficient and out of sync with their workflow. Before making health IT changes or implementing new EHR systems, obtaining input from nursing representatives is crucial for success. Yet, according to a poll by BlackBook of more than 13,000 registered nurses, 98% said they had never been included in their organization's IT decisions. In the same poll, 85% said they encounter flawed EHR systems on a daily basis, and 67% said they use workarounds. 90% perceived that EHRs actually had a negative impact on communication with their patients. A 2015 article in the online Journal of Issues in Nursing recommended several actions to improve nurses' experience with IT systems. Nurses would like to have the ability to enter and access patient information in patients' rooms. Because of their heavy documentation load, they want to be able to access and enter information into patient records quickly and to easily transition among different screens. Improved interoperability across providers and different healthcare organizations would also improve care coordination. Nurses would also like their input to be considered in health IT system design, changes, and implementation. In fact, to address this concern, many organizations now include a Chief Nursing Informatics Officer, or CNIO, and a Nursing Informatics Department. Other staff members who comprise the patient care team also need a system that supports their work processes. Workflow issues are common with EHR system implementation because they involve not only the system that the nurse and physician use, but also the systems connected to it. For example, the pharmacy must have access to the patient allergy and home medication information within the EHR system in order to complete the validation of medication orders. The PCA, patient care assistant, wants to quickly and easily enter patient vital signs into the EHR through device integration, allowing the nurse and physician to view this information and make decisions in a timely manner. The laboratory and radiology departments need to interface with the EHR system to receive orders, collect relevant specimens, or perform studies and post results. Case managers and social workers need to perform resource utilization reviews based on insurance qualifications and record discharge readiness actions in the patient's EHR. Also, staff input needs to be factored in during the planning phase, not when the implementation of the new system begins, or worse, after the system has become operational. What do administrators want? Administrators usually have to make decisions on retrospective data. As health IT customers, administrators want systems that provide accurate and timely access to clinical, financial, and administrative information about their hospital or practice. As consumers, they need a system that facilitates this access and is easy to use. Like clinical providers, administrators typically have a heavy workload. They need straight answers about a system's capabilities without having to translate a lot of technical jargon. Hospital administrators also are concerned about the impact of any IT implementation or modification on their customers, the patient community. Their customers must not be adversely affected. One small problem in the billing process could create havoc if it reaches the actual patient community. As we've mentioned before, the costs of rectifying a mistake can be significant. Management also wants quantifiable data and results to enable their decision-making process and follow-up actions. They're interested in questions such as the following. What is the turnaround time for a laboratory test for a patient suspected of having the flu? How long are patients waiting to be seen by a physician in the emergency department? How many help desk tickets are open, and what is the average resolution time for help desk tickets? Management wants to be made aware of issues that need escalation so that appropriate actions can be taken in a timely manner. The collection of relevant data in IT systems and reporting to appropriate agencies enables executives to also focus on ensuring patient safety and satisfaction levels. 
Strangely enough, patients are not typically considered in the list of stakeholders' wants and needs during a system implementation or conversion. Because they're not the primary or even secondary user of the new EHR system, they are often overlooked. However, patients are the reason we're all in healthcare. Really, in any healthcare setting, patients' needs should be at the top of the list. A system go live may mean delays in services that used to take only a short period of time. To an end user of a system, this added time is to be expected. To a patient waiting for pain medication, however, the delay can be a significant issue. Patients' needs should always be paramount. Patients want to feel confident that their privacy is protected through secure systems. They also typically want a patient portal that provides easy access to laboratory results and other information, and they want to be able to communicate with their providers easily and securely. Without question, health IT can significantly improve healthcare in numerous ways. EHRs can improve care coordination through data sharing across providers. For example, if a patient is admitted to the emergency department and the providers have access to his record, they can immediately see his drug allergies. EHRs also enhance safety. If a provider accidentally enters a medication dosage that's unsafe, the EHR will alert her to the problem. The data collected in an EHR is also an extremely valuable asset in improving care quality. These are just a few examples of the many benefits of EHRs. Although providers may have complaints, keep in mind that the transition to electronic records has been a significant adjustment for all healthcare workers. Their outlooks will likely continue to become more positive over time. At the same time, EHR systems will continue to improve. The growth of the informatics field reflects the needs to engage informatics professionals to bridge the gap between health IT and the clinicians. This concludes Lecture A of Customer Service in Health IT. In summary, a customer service culture strives to address the wants and needs of an organization's customers. Health IT customers include the patient care team, administrators, managers, patients, and others. Their needs must be considered as part of any IT decision that may impact them.